Right, uh, we've got a nice circle question here, just talking about a cycle track. Looks like to be two straight sides, uh, semicircles each end. Okay, so, and we want to find out how many times Ian's bike wheel is going to go round. So first of all, the first thing to spot is that this curvy bit and this curvy bit, if we put those together, we've got a complete circle. Not a very good circle, I know, but it should be. Uh, with a radius of 27 meters. Okay? So let's work out the perimeter of the track. So the circumference of that circle is pi b, which works out as pi times 54. The reason it's 54 is because we want the diameter going the whole way along. So we've got to double the 27. Uh, and when you calculate that, I've used the pi button on my calculator. Uh, and I get 169.646033 meters. So therefore, the perimeter of the track is going to be this answer. plus the two straights, which are 80 metres each, which comes out as 249.640033 metres. And you notice how I've not rounded my answers yet. Okay. So if I just switch to a different colour, uh, and now consider what's happening with Ian's bike. So if I consider Ian's bike wheel, well, we're told that it's 590 millimetres. Well, 590 millimetres is the same as 59 centimetres, which is the same as 0 0.59 metres. So I know the diameter of his bike wheel is 0 0.59 metres. So if I do the same calculation, find out how long his bike wheel is, the distance from the length of his tyre, all the way around how far one complete revolution goes. Again, I can use the pi button on my calculator. And we do pi times uh, 0.59, which comes out as 1.8535. Five three five three nine six 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 meters. So, what I need to do now is is I need to work out how many times this goes into this. So, for for the number of revolutions, I need to do. The 249.64, and I'm writing the whole thing out. I can use the answer button in a sec on my calculator. Oops, went a little bit quicker, didn't it? Divided by the answer I just had, the 1.8535396666. So I do that on my calculator, and I come out as the number of times the wheel goes round is 134.686086 three times. So it's that many revolutions. How many complete revolutions? Well, it goes around 134 times. It doesn't get around the full turn of the next one. It doesn't go all the way around. It only goes around just over two thirds. So the number of complete revolutions, 134 revolutions.